Hi, this is Janet from Try It Like It Create It, and I want to share with you today this chalk kit that I have from Pebbles Ink. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but it comes with um, multiple colors. I'm going to take the lid off here so you can see. 110 pieces, uh, 40 chalks, chalk applicator, pom-poms, burnishing spoon, chalk eraser, chalk brush, and six stencils. So let's take a look at this kit. It comes with a protective plastic cover. And so here we have the chalks, and then you can see here that it's got these little pebbles. Um, they're actually um, like cotton balls um, for working with the chalk. And then this is the chalk eraser. Um, let's see if I can get out of here. So this is the chalk eraser. This is the spoon or the burnishing spoon. And we have a brush pretty soft brush. Um, this little grabber tool is actually what holds the cotton pebbles to work with. Um, very similar to using eyeshadow or makeup. And then here are the stencils that come in the kit. So we've got a weather type. Um, we've got heart, star, some flowers. And then for the other three, we have some more flowers here. Uh, ladybug, bee, butterfly. And then a more birthday themed with a balloon, candle, and a package. What I'm going to do today is I am going to work with a self-adhesive stamp, uh, sorry, stencil from Dot, Jot. And I'm just going to move this off to the side and bring in my paper here. Let's see if we can do it this way. Since I am left-handed, being able to grab at the colors is gonna be probably the best for me to reach across like that. So you can see what I'm doing. So here I'm peeling the stencil, and I have found with these Jot green stencils that they um, do tear and you do have to be a little careful with them. So what I'm gonna do is put it adhesive side up and then kind of place my card over the flower that I want there. So there, you can see what we're gonna work with. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start light and try to build up if I can get the tool out of the package. There we go. All right, so to start, um, I think we'll build with yellow. So I'm just gonna grab the yellow piece and then I'm gonna go lightly into the yellow. And then because this is an adhesive stencil, um, I don't have to worry too much about it lifting or getting underneath it. So I'm just gonna start working slightly in the center um, to really light application. I don't know. It's starting to show up a little bit here. Yeah. But I really like how you can control how much of this chalk you're going to use. And really the only downside I see is that um, I may forget to change out the little dauber to a different color. So we're going to do that right now. And let's move on to an orange. I'm gonna try the smaller one and see how much control I get. So you can see I've got, hopefully you can see that there's orange on there. And so I'm gonna work around here. And the colors do seem to blend nicely together. It feels very much like, um, you know, working with a colored pencil almost. And then for the last, we're gonna go into some red. Um, maybe a pinky, more pink than red here. 
Hopefully that's not too dark. We'll try it in these little pieces first and see how. I really do like how I can have some control over this and how it blends together well. And I'm guessing I could even come back in with the yellow and work up that center area, which I think I might just do. I grab the smaller one. For some reason I feel like I have more control using these littler ones and go in there and give that a sense of strong yellow in the center. And I, I, I can always go in, you know, with a colored pencil later or a marker and touch up those things. Um, maybe on these little guys I might go in and just touch up little points here with some yellow. So yeah, I'm liking how this is working. Now we're going to go into the greens for the stem and I'm going to start light. I like to start light and build dark. So there's the light and you know I'm actually gonna go with I know you can see these greens over here but there is a I don't know if you can see this there's like a blue green over here and I'm gonna do that just to be a little different let's see how that yeah Okay, so that was quick and easy and we are ready for the reveal. So I'm going to peel this stencil up and this is really where I've found to have some problems with tearing. So I just want to go slow. Um, yeah, I can feel some tearing happening here in this leaf design. I don't think these are meant to be a one-time use stencil, but they they sure don't have a long use life. If you found another way to work with these so that they kind of hold together better, I'd love to hear about it. Um, and I haven't seen these at the Dollar Tree recently. I, they had some other different brand, or well, not different brand, but different kind of stencil, not necessarily an adhesive stencil. They're green, but they um, are not adhesive. So here's for our reveal. Like I said, I'm just going to go gentle here because I would like to save this stencil for another use. Ah, my alignment was off a little. But there you get the idea of working with chalk and the colors. Let me get this taken care of here. Okay. And then I'll come back in and we'll spend a little more time with this. Um, so I did. I was going to try to center this, and here we are off center. Um, but that could still work. I, I could get uh, 
you know, cut down and still used. Or, you know, I could run another pattern along the bottom here. All right. Um, kind of don't want to have to go into this one again. But what I can do is work around the edges here. Um, let's go with this medium yellow here. And just kind of give the edge a little bit of something. Give it a little bit of dimension around the edge there. I'm liking how that's looking. And then I think what I might do is run a ribbon or something across here uh, and then place it on the card. So maybe even going over the edges some with the yellow. We don't have a stark white edge. there we go all right um, I will share with you finished results when I get them hope you enjoyed watching this uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to uh, learn some more different techniques to learn with crafting and hope to see you again soon thanks